Hello and welcome back to a new tutorial on Sketch App TV. I'm Max and we are right back at Sketch and we will design a lifestyle clothing store iOS app today. We will be using this icon set. It's also linked down in the description below. So let's just start out by creating a new file. And we hit A to create a new artboard and we will just use the iPhone 6 artboard size. I will just uh, enable the keystrokes here so you can follow my steps on my keyboard like that. And right now let's just um, get the top status bar. We will grab this from the iOS UI design. Just open it up loading and here we have it so let's just grab one of them copy it and paste it onto your design I want to have it at the top and after that it's time to make such a top navigation with a back icon to or a navigation icon to uh, get to the navigation and a search icon so we will just hit R to create a new rectangle, drag it to your desired position and change the size of it so it's just as big enough as you like it and after that I will just give it a slight border like that. I make it a, big bigger, a bit bigger than the artboard itself because I want the border to be only at this bottom side here. And we could also simply change the background color to a light gray like this one. Then I, as I said, would like to add a menu icon and a search icon. So we go to our icon set. And we are just grabbing this menu icon. And let's also Go for the search icon, copy it and paste it. So there we have it. Now let's just um, drag them or use our arrow keys to position them at the top. And of course we would like to have the search on the right side like that. Let's change the colors of them so they are not that so there's not that much emphasis on of them on them. And let's add a title. And let's say women oh it's white. Yeah, let's just call it women or call it whatever you want center it and I would like to change the size of it. I think this font is just fine. Like that. And in this bottom part of the top navigation which we could also just group up I would like to display um, some sorting feature and a filter feature. So maybe we find icons for that. For sorting and for... Um, that's nice, that could work fine for sorting. And maybe we find also filtering. So let's, yeah, that's a filter icon. Let's just use this one. There we have them. And 
let's just oops let's just position them at the top right like that I would like to have a small separating line right here so just hit L and shift to create such a line such a divider and of course center it up okay that's nice so I just copy this one this text layer to call it uh, sort by and then I copy it again to say filter by I want this icon to have a rotation of 90 degrees like that and the filter icon oops should of course be on the left side of the text maybe the user already filtered the results so we could say let's give it a color like that so we indicate that there is a filter applied uh, on these items that will be right below our top bar I want to make this one a little bit smaller like that and Let's align them somehow like that. And now we are really diving into the items that will be displayed below this one. But I think it's a bit too big, this text right here. I want to have a different size than the headline. So let's have it like that. And that means we also have to change the size. Oops, the size of our icons. Sometimes uh, selecting layers is kind of kind of a pain in Sketch, but uh, we are going to figure this out. Okay, like that. Oh, okay, we need less spacing right there. Okay, save it up from time to time and now let's get into the items that will be displayed uh, in this middle part. So just hit R to grab a new um, rectangle. And I would like the rectangle to be white and I would like to give it a little radius. Maybe let's make the background a little bit grayish or like that. And now I would like to place a nice image right here. I already prepared them looked for some images for some photos on unsplash.com and then I would like to display a title, a price and maybe some uh, discount uh, badge right here at the bottom uh, right part. At the top right part I would like to display a heart so the user is able to add it to their favorites or like it or something like that. And that's what we are about to do now. So. I just also group this up and I call it tile. So at first we are going to grab one of these photos. I have them right here. So let's just grab a cool one like this. Paste it into our sketch file right there 
and what I want is to have a little frame which um, is basically the background of our photo. So we have a mask after that. So I just copy the background tile layer and I give it a new uh, size and after that just hit, hit mask to position it in the way you want it. So now let's just um, change the size of the photo that we have. You can also just drag it Looks really cool already. So we have our photo right there. I would like to make this a, big, a bit bigger. So let's also make our photo bigger. that and I would like to get rid of these rounded corners um, of our background so we have to say this should be also a mask and right after that we should be able to get rid of our radius That didn't work out, but if you just go to the edit mode, you can simply select any of these corners and then you can um, fine tune them by saying the bottom corners shouldn't have such a radius. So we have it like that. Works quite nice. And as I said, I would like to display a title right here. So I just copy this um, text layer from the top. Of course, this shouldn't be in this mask, so we can see it actually. And yeah, maybe let's give it like any name. Something like that. Doesn't really matter, just to give it some dummy content. Then I would like to display some pricing information, as I said. So we just say this is 30 bucks. You can also say this should be medium. And as I said, I want to display a little batch right here where we see that there is a discount on the price. So let's just grab a nice color, any color you like. And basically a color that's also matching our existing uh, UI. So we can also just grab one of the photo. And just look that we find a nice color, maybe like this one. I would like to give it a radius again, three pixels. And align it with our pricing information.
let's correct some so that all the spacing and so on looks nice. And I just copy this layer again to place it above our discount. Oops. Discount background. Of course, we will make it white. And let's say that this is like 10% off. Let's make this heavy, maybe even black. So we see that there is a huge discount, or in this case it's just 10%, but there is a discount on this item. Like that, and as I said, I would like to display a nice little heart at the top right to to indicate that users are able to add this to their favorites. Like that, we can also say, of course, it should be white or it should be any color we want it to be. But we can also just say it should be black. So that's the first tile. Let's just copy the tile and drag it over to the right. like that. So in our second tile, of course, we just changed the photo and the text. So maybe not a snapback or a cap again, but something different like this. Just copy it and paste it onto your file. It takes a moment and after that we are able to change the size of it. So here we have it again. Can of course make it bigger. Like this. And maybe let's just call it sports bra or something like that. Give it a new price. Maybe it's $19 and it's 20% off. Okay, so we have a half a pixel here, which is quite annoying, but we can correct that easily. And there we have it. So let's just grab both of them right now and paste them into our artboard. So we have tile number three and tile number four. And of course, we are just going to add a new photo. To add some dummy content. Resize the photo, of course, again. And place it onto our artboard. Mm. 
new name, new price. And let's also go for the last one. Let's go for this USA t-shirt. like this and let's say it's only ten dollars and maybe a price drop of 15 uh, 25 percent or something it's actually not really relevant so we have our basic screen right here and let's add a bottom navigation that gives the user the ability to go to their shopping cart or something like that. So we need some icons like, as I said, a shopping cart. Bottom navigation. Then maybe an overview of all the products. So we simply go for this shape or icon. And we go for, of course, the favorite items. User can view their favorite items easily. Maybe we find two or three more. Here's a little person. So maybe the user is able to edit their personal settings and so on. And maybe we find a third one that's giving the user the ability to edit or to change the settings of the app, like notifications or whatever the user would like to edit. So we have them right here. And now let's give them a specific order after we created a background. And we will just copy it from the top navigation. Oops, not from the tile, but from our top bar. Like this. And after that, just give all these icons a rough position. Like that. We will make these not black, but give it a grayish color. This one should be in the center of the app and these should be just next to it. So also select, uh, change the order of them in our layer list. So it's easier for you to see which layer is in which position. that. In this tutorial it's not about positioning them in 100% the exact way, but also just to give you an impression of how they will look like. So 
select all of them to make sure they are vertically aligned and they are aligned and let's say this is the current tab that we are in so we give it a nice color an active color like this one so we have some sort of uh, same same color for uh, active items active uh, uh, icons and tabs and so on. We could also say that for example the heart right here should be active so maybe we just go back and grab the favorite icon which is filled so we place it just above it and then we just go for the color picker and select this color right here. Oops. Like that. So we see, or well, the user is basically seeing that items that, or elements of this user interface that are in this red color are active, are selected, and that's basically it. Just give it a name like woman clothing store or something like that and we are finished we have finished this user interface if you like this tutorial and if you would like to see more just subscribe to the channel I also uh, pasted this the download link to this file down in the description of the video so if you would like to download it and to to edit it or something like that just download it it's free Thank you for your time guys, enjoy your week. On Wednesday there is a new tutorial video for freelance and UX designers, so also check that out. Okay, so see you.